Taming Mother Nature, brought to you by Preaxor Fungicide from BASF. Well, it's a bit ironic that on the heels of a blizzard, we are starting a new series called Taming Mother Nature. Dealing with weather extremes just comes with the job when you're a farmer, but that doesn't mean it gets easier as the years go on. While it's fueled the commodity market the past couple of years, farmers' emotions have been on a roller coaster ride. But if farmers can keep those emotions in check, it often pays off in the end. Fertile ground scarred from minimal rain. Water gushing from creeks and bursting over the side of the banks. This is the extreme difference between 2012 and 2013, and proof you never know what card Mother Nature is going to deal you on any given year. Despite the weather curveballs, once the grain hit the cart, <laughs> farmers' reactions were very similar last fall. Yields are a bit better than I expected. Really, the corn is uh, better than anticipated so far. This map shows all the states that have a corn yield pegged at over 150 bushels per acre by USDA for the 2013 growing season. And this is a map of every state that soybean yield will end up topping 40 bushels per acre. The ending to this story may have been better than expected, but emotions run high when farmers have to endure the weather extremes. And those emotions can cloud a farmer's management decisions. Many times when we try to manage things in season, we make some of those poor decisions based on emotion. Uh, but when we sit down ahead of time in the fall and put out a high yield plan, we stick to that plan. Many times the weather that happens in the, in the year doesn't impact the people who follow the plan as much as it impacts the people who start trying to vote in season on what they're going to do. Helig says after the past two years, many of his farmers have asked him to help them be more objective, even if the weather tugs at their emotions to change their plan. Illinois farmer Ken Dahlenberg is one of those farmers who has managed to make a plan and stick to it throughout the year. But this year is a matter of just patience. Patience and then scouting for weeds because weed control was extremely hard to do this year with a delayed season. Resistant weeds and insects have been another aftermath of the wild weather across the country. And we're starting to see water hemp that we can't control. Uh, we have to change our chemical programs to meet that challenge. We see insects that are becoming harder to control and we have to be better stewards in how we rotate crops and handle things. One of the changes that we made is going from no-till to tillage. I mean, that's not a chemical program, but it is a change that we've had to, man to make in order to manage the different weed spectrum that we're dealing with. Whether it be weed resistance or plant health, Dahlenberg says each year it's good to evaluate and see what worked and what didn't. This year, after the wet spring, it was fungicide and nitrogen applications that gave his overall yield a boost. Uh, a fungicide application at the proper timing so that the plant health stays longer in the season, but also the stress level within the plant. Just like ourselves, on a hot day when you're sweating, the plant is sweating too. And so respiration is very important in the health of, of a corn crop. While management practices help, farmers the past two years couldn't overlook how better hybrids help them make it through. Well, genetics have come a long way since the drought of 1988 and the drought of 1983. And genetics has made a big difference because the corn hybrids are now able to handle stress a lot better than it has in the past. I go to all these agronomy meetings and listen to all these university people and they talk about all the plant breeding and, and the drought tolerance and everything they've brought into these crops. I am a firm believer in that now. <laughs> Tomorrow, we'll continue our Taming Mother Nature series. I'll tell you what tools are used to help mitigate the weather extremes.